Welcome to Let's Talk Sports in South Jersey, home of South Jersey sports. Let's get started by talking about our local teams first. Starting with the Philadelphia Soul. They are 2-1 on the season. The Soul will try to bounce back as they take on the Washington Valor on Saturday. Let's get win number 3. Goal, Soul, Goal! The Philadelphia Phillies are 23-16 on the season. They will take on the Blue Crew on Wednesday and Thursday. The Phillies take on the Colorado Rockies on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Let's get some wins and stay in first place. The Wedding Phillies are 17 and 14 on the season. They are three games above 500. They will take on the New Hampshire Britain Cats on Wednesday and the Portland Sea Dogs on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday in Wedding. Let's win some games. The Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs are 19 and 15. They will take on the Durham Bulls on Wednesday and Thursday in Durham and the Charlotte Knights on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday in Charlotte. Let's be number one. The Philadelphia Union are 7-3-2 on the season. They will take on the Seattle Sounders on Saturday. Let's get win number eight of the season and stay in first place. Go Union! The Philadelphia 76ers are eliminated from the NBA playoffs. Losing 92-90 on a game-ending quadruple Doink! It was a great season and they really tried hard. We will have to wait five months for the NBA season to begin. Good luck to all our local teams! It's time to recap the 2019 NHL playoffs. On a San Jose Sharks team filled with established stars, 22-year-old Timo Meyer can get overlooked at times, even though he scored 30 goals in the regular season. Meyer showed in Game 1 of the Western Conference Final that can be a force in his own right, scoring tries and setting up one of Logan Couture's two goals with a hard hit to send the Sharks to a 6-3 victory over the St. Louis Blues on Saturday night. Meyer said on Alex Petrangelo led to Couture's goal that opened the scoring in the first period and he then scored twice in the second to give the Sharks a comfortable lead and their third straight Game 1 win this postseason. Couture added an empty net goal to give him an NHL leading 11 in the postseason. Joe Pavlowski and Kevin LeBanc also scored for San Jose and Martin Jones made 28 saves. This series is a matchup between two franchises seeking their first championships after years of playoff disappointments. They endure tough roads to get here with the Sharks needing to win a pair of seven game series and the Blues needing a double overtime win in game seven against Dallas to make it to their fourth conference final in the past 49 years. The Blues answered with Edmondson's goal but then committed two penalties in a span of 57 seconds after going more than 136 minutes without one in the playoffs. That gave San Jose a two-man advantage that Pavlowski converted into a goal when he batted his own rebound out of midair into the net for a second goal in as many games after missing six contests following a bloody concussion. Good luck to the teams in the NHL playoffs. It's time to recap the National Basketball of Association playoffs. The Toronto Raptors are going on to the Eastern Conference Finals. Led by Kawhi Leonard, who scored a game-high 41 points. The Raptors defeated the Philadelphia 76ers in a thrilling Game 7 by a final score of 92-90. The 76ers pushed the Raptors to the limit behind strong performances from Joel Embiid 21 points, 11 rebounds, J.J. Redick, 17 points, and Jimmy Butler, 16 points. But it wasn't quite enough. The Raptors were losing control of the game in the third quarter. A forward by Marcus Gasol put them ahead 50-41 with 9.28 to play in the quarter. But the 76ers went on a 16-0-1 to take the lead. The Raptors couldn't buy a shot during that stretch. They missed all 10 of their field goal attempts with Kawhi Leonard going 0 for 6. Fortunately for the Raptors, Kyle Lowry responded with a series of hustle plays that saved 
their season. For the 76ers, that number will jump out the most, given they only lost by two points. But the Raptors' commitment to fighting for every possession and limiting their turnovers set the stage for Kawhi Leonard's late game heroics. Sure, they lost this game by at the buzzer, but Philly had plenty of opportunities to swing game seven in their favor. Toronto's extra effort just proved the difference. Marcus Saw and Pascal Sycam led the charge with 11 boards each, while Kawhi Leonard eight, Serge Ibaka eight, Kyle Lowry six, and Danny Green four all did their bit. Good luck to the teams in the NBA playoffs. It's time to preview the 144th Preakness Stakes. Kentucky Derby winner, Country House, tops the list of candidates for the 144th Preakness Stakes, the middle jewel of the Triple Crown at Pimlico Racecourse. While Hall of Fame trainer Bill Mott was not ready to commit Country House, the Derby champ threw the historic disqualification of maximum security to the Preakness Sunday morning. He said that the chestnut colt came out of the waist very well and was a Preakness prospect. Maximum Security, who led from gate to wire in the derby, but was disqualified for a bumpy innocent at the quarter pole, is scheduled to be shipped to trainer Jason Service's barn at Monmouth Park on Monday. Service reported Sunday morning that the horse exited the derby in good order and that a Preakness start had not yet been discussed. Ten others are on the early list of prospects for the Preakness, including other favorites like War of Will, who was seventh in the Derby, and Boat Express, who was 13th in the Derby, and Sreno, the third place finisher in the Louisiana Derby. Good luck to the riders and horses in the 144th Preakness. That is a wrap. You can check me out on my podcast at Stefan Sports Radio or through the podcast app or this YouTube channel. And you can listen to me on Saturday nights at 6 o'clock on 1360 WNJC in Cherry Hill. Thank you for watching and keep those comments rolling and we will talk to you next week.